It's Monday, August 26th, and this is Markets Daily, hosted by me, Jen Sinassi. On this show, as you know, we navigate the currents, shaping the crypto markets, providing insights against the broader financial landscape. So whether you're actively trading or simply fascinated by the volatility that is the crypto markets, this show is your compass to understanding what's happened, where we are, and where we're going. Good morning, everyone. I hope you had a fantastic weekend. On today's show, we are going to dive deep into Aave, the native token of the Aave decentralized lending platform, which has recently surged by over 45% in four weeks, outperforming almost every other major cryptocurrency. As of this morning, the token is up 32% in one month. So what's driving this impressive rally and what does it mean for investors? Let's get into it. First off, let's talk about what triggered this surge. Aave's rally kicked off in late July following developments in the Aave ecosystem. Now, one major factor was a proposal from Mark Zeller, the founder of Aave Chan Initiative, to activate a fee switch. Now, this switch would redistribute a portion of the platform's excess revenue to critical actors in the ecosystem and use some of it to buy back tokens from the secondary market. The proposal, aimed at creating more value for Aave holders, sparked a lot of interest and speculation in the community. Essentially, it suggested that stakers could start seeing some direct benefits, which immediately boosted market sentiment around the token. Another proposal that's been making waves is the umbrella proposal. This would overhaul the way Aave handles loan liquidations. Now, currently, when a loan is liquidated on Aave, the platform seizes and sells Aave tokens, which can put downward pressure on the token's price. The new proposal suggests switching to a seasoned burn mechanism. Katie Talati, Arca's head of research, said in a note in July that the proposal aims to create a new system which would use a variety of assets to cover bad debt in the protocol versus only using the Aave token to cover bad debt. The new system would then relieve some of the sell pressure on Aave. This could lead to a more stable or even rising price. Now, let's talk about why all of this is significant for Aave's tokenomics and risk management. The proposed changes are aimed at making the token more attractive and creating a more robust ecosystem. For one, the buyback mechanism could create persistent bullish pressure in the market by reducing the total supply of Aave tokens. Algorithmic trading firm Wintermute told Coindesk recently that these proposals aimed at overhauling Aave's tokenomics and protocols risk management galvanized institutional interest in the token. They also said that it's generally seen as a blue chip DeFi asset that tracks the growth of crypto in general. Okay, so what does this mean for investors and people who are curious about the space? Let's break down the pros and cons. Here are the pros. Revenue redistribution. The proposed fee switch that we just spoke about means that Aave holders and stakers could start receiving a portion of the platform's revenue, adding a new income stream for investors. The next point we're going to take a look at here is reduced selling pressure. With the proposed seasoned burn mechanism, the sell side pressure on Aave could decrease significantly, potentially leading to a more stable or appreciating token price. Increased institutional interest, that's a no-brainer. With more institutional players showing interest, Aave could see increased liquidity and reduced volatility, which are favorable conditions for long-term investors. And strong revenue performance, Aave has been the top protocol in terms of revenue and fees earned over the past month, indicating a strong and growing user base. Now, let's take a look at the cons side. It can't all be good, right? One of the downsides here is regulatory risks. As with all DeFi projects, Aave faces regulatory scrutiny, changes in regulation could impact the protocol's operations and the token's value. There's also market volatility. Despite the recent surge, Aave is still subject to the volatile swings of the broader crypto market, which we talk about on this show every single day. As we all know, what goes up can come down just as fast. Next, we have execution risks. The proposed changes are still just that, proposals. So if these changes aren't implemented successfully or don't have the expected impact, positive sentiment could quickly fade. And there's competition in DeFi. Aave is a leading protocol, but it's not without its competitors. Other platforms could implement similar or better features, which might dilute Aave's appeal. So 
Is Ave a good buy right now? It really depends on your risk tolerance and investment strategy. If you're looking for a DeFi asset with strong potential upside due to new incentives and institutional interests, Ave could be worth looking into. However, you should always remember the risks involved, especially in a space as dynamic and fast changing as this one. As always, this is not financial advice. You should always do your own research before investing. That is it for today's show. Thank you so much for coming on this journey with me and listening to Markets Daily every day, watching Markets Daily every day. If you love this show, please subscribe to the Coindesk Podcast Network. That is available on all podcast platforms. And if you love watching the show, you can do that on YouTube. Subscribe to Coindesk's YouTube channel and hit that thumbs up button. I'm Jensen Assey. Thank you so much for listening today and we'll see you tomorrow.